Radha? Radha. Radha. I don't know. But it smells like butter or like buttered popcorn or something. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my March favorites here for you today. So what I'm going to do is quickly run through my overall Friday favorites for the month and then I have some hair care, some skin care, some randoms, um, mostly skin care, and then randoms. Yeah. That's mostly what we've got here, but I've got some good favorites to share with you, so let's jump into it. So for my overall Friday favorites for the month, I have to pick my peanut butter and jelly palette from Too Faced for my eye favorite, just because it's adorable. I love it. I love how it smells. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. It just brings me back to being a kid or something. Like I, I mentioned that before, it smells like a little scratch and sniff, whatever, sticker books. So brings me back to being a kid. It's adorable, really nice quality. I love this. My overall blush favorites are these two, the Chanel blush in rose bronze. Timothy got me this for Valentine's Day. So I love it because it's beautiful, but also because it's special. I'm wearing this today. It just has a really pretty glow. I do have a highlight on as well though, but it does have that nice kind of like subtle sheen to it. I love Max Petal Power. This is a mineralized blush. It's beautiful. It's warm. It's glowy. I swatch all these things in Friday Favorites. If you want to see swatches, you can check back there. And then for lips, I have to go with my Tom Ford lipstick that Ashley gave me. This is just so luxurious and beautiful, and I love it. This is one of their mattes. This is the Lip Color Matte in First Time. It is perfection. It is so fancy and beautiful. A really nice formula. It smells yummy. I love it. And then the um, Bite Beauty Amu Amuse Bouche. Amu Amuse Bouche. I don't know. I think it's Amuse, Amuse Bouche. I think. But I really like them. I think they're awesome. I'm wearing Saki right now, but I have molasses and also I think sugar cane. But they're just really like nice and comfortable on the lips, but they stick around for a good amount of time. I, and they have a million colors. I love them. Okay, so this is a little bit random, but this really is a favorite. So I got a little like sample pack from Neiman Marcus, um, like as a little special gift perk kind of a thing when Timothy took me shopping on Valentine's Day. And this was in there. It was a little sample pack of the Amore Pacific Cushion Foundations. And the one that worked for me was 102 Light. I really like this cushion foundation. It applies beautifully. It looks gorgeous on the skin. It wears really well throughout the day. It's probably my favorite cushion foundation I've ever tried. The only negative, well, there's a couple of negatives. It has a really strong perfumey scent, which I hate, but it does pretty much go away once you put it on your skin and wear it for a little bit. But when you are applying it, you can definitely smell it. It's very kind of just perfumey, fragrancy, don't like the scent. Um, and also it's really expensive. I think the full size is like $60 or something and that's pretty ridiculous, especially for a cushion foundation. So I probably won't be buying the full size, but if that is in your price range and you're looking for a good cushion foundation, it was so impressive, I loved it. Now for some skincare favorites. So I was reaching for oils more this month and I have two standouts, especially this one. But first off is the Radha, Radha, Radha. I don't know, Rosehip Oil. I got this off of Amazon. So I'd heard, um, I think I first heard Michelle 1218 talk about rosehip oil and it's supposed to basically be kind of like a natural Botox almost just really good for fine lines and this is also I read this online I don't know if it's true but something that Princess Kate uses on her skin she has beautiful skin so anyway I don't know if she uses this particular kind I don't think it's this particular brand but rosehip oil she uses so anyway I've been using this this month and I do really like it I'm down about that far so I've been using it quite a bit the only kind of strange thing about this, and I've heard that this is kind of how you can tell if it's like really a good form of rosehip oil, is it's supposed to be kind of like an orangey sort of a color. Can you see that? Kind of like an orangey color. And it has an interesting smell, like almost like food. Like I told Timothy, I, this is weird, but it smells like butter or like buttered popcorn or something. It's a little odd, but like the more you use it on your skin, I've gotten used to it. It does make your skin look kind of orangey, so I just use it at night. But I do feel like it's done good things for my skin. I do feel like it's helping my fine lines and 
really just kind of helping prevent them from worsening or anything. So I really do like this. I'm impressed with it. It's a big old bottle. I think it was around $20 or so, but I've been impressed with it. And I'm pretty much blown away by the Josie Marin Argon Oil. So I've used Argon Oils in the past. I've gotten them from like health food stores. So I figured I'm getting 100% pure Argon Oil. I'm getting it from a good place. So it's got to be good stuff. And I think that they are, but I don't know what is different about hers. But once I started using this on my skin, oh my gosh, just like texture things were getting better, fine lines were getting better. Um, I just feel like overall the smoothness and look of my skin has gotten better since I've been using hers. So I love it. Absolutely love it. I've pretty much used up this whole thing and then I bought another like smaller size of it because it's a pricier argan oil. Like that's why I hadn't tried it before, but I see why people love it. I mean, it really does seem to be different than the other ones and just does really good things for the skin. This is another pricier skincare item, but that I absolutely love. This is the Murite Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So I'd heard friends talk about this product in the past and say how much they love it, just what good things it does for kind of prepping their skin, but I'd never tried it before. So I was so excited when Murite sent it to me, no obligation to review it, no obligation to talk about it, nothing like that, but I just tried it and fell in love with it. I use it um, right before my makeup. It's basically just like a primer and um, it says treats, blurs, protects. So it's basically like a primer that does good things for your skin, but that also has SPF in it, but then also kind of fills in your pores. So what I noticed with this is that when I use it, it fills in my pores. Um, it just, it really does blur everything, Invisiblur. It really does blur my pores, blur my fine lines, just create a really nice canvas for my skin and for my foundation. So when I use this, I notice that my foundation goes on better and it lasts better throughout the day. So, you know, it's basic. I feel like I'm basically describing a primer because that's what it is. It's a primer, but for some reason, I feel like this one works better than a lot of primers that I've used. And it does have that kind of like silicone feel. So it's, it feels very typical of other primers, but I don't know. I feel like some primers like make my foundation look worse. This makes my foundation look better. It just helps it go on better and I love it. I have one hair care favorite this month. This is the Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. So my hairdresser had used this on my hair when I got a cut, not this last time, but the one before and use it on damp hair and you just spray it right at the roots and just really work it in. It really does make a difference because my hair is very I've mentioned this before, I have fine hair, I have flat hair, especially the first day when I wash it, it's just like, it's baby fine, it's so soft, it just lays, it's just flat. So this helps to really give it some kind of like, just volume and texture at the roots without making it feel gross. Because sometimes some root lifters can really like, make your roots like crunchy and weird. I'm sure if you use too much of this, that could happen. But if you use just a little bit, like I just spray kind of around my head on my roots, it really does make a difference. Just kind of helps plump it up a little bit and give you a little bit of volume. I have a toolkit favorite this month. This is the Beauty Junkies. I believe it's called the Pro Contour and Highlighting Kit, but I'll link it down below for you and also have a coupon code. I've mentioned Beauty Junkies before on my channel. I love their brushes. I think they make really nice quality brushes. They're very affordable. They come out with good little sets. I really like their little bags, like the bags that different sets come in. They're really nice. Like they're like lined with pink. This has a little, it's a little papery thing, but they're lined with pink. It's just really cute. So this set comes with, I haven't used the little beauty blender thingy that it comes with, but that's in there. But I love the brushes. It comes with a pro sculptor, a pro duo fiber, a pro detailer, and a pro highlighter. So the two standouts in the set are these two for me. So the pro sculptor is just so good for your contouring. It just it's like dense enough to really like apply the product, but then it moves it enough to blend it. So 
it's dirty because I've been using it, but it's just soft, it's really nice quality, the ferrule feels really nice, it's just good. And then the Pro Highlighter is so perfect for just applying your highlight. This is dirty too because I've been using it also, but I think, I can't remember the exact price of this set, but it's really affordable for all the things that you get. And it's just really good quality. I love their brush sets. And lastly, this is really random, but I have a book favorite. This is called Boundaries, and it's by Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Townsend. And it says, when to say yes, how to say no to take control of your life. So I've mentioned on my Snapchat, but I don't think I've actually talked about it on my channel, but I started seeing a Christian counselor about like four or five months ago. Um, and it has been one of the best decisions of my entire life. So that's a favorite too, is counseling. Um, and I started seeing her, I've mentioned this on my channel before too, but Timothy and I have just really faced a lot of loss um, over the last year and a half, just miscarriages and things like that. So I really needed to go talk to somebody and she has been the biggest blessing. So I would highly recommend counseling if you can find yourself a really great counselor it has been life-changing for me. So counseling is a big favorite, but this book is one that she recommended for me because I'm a little bit of like a pushover and I have a hard time setting boundaries in my life. Um, so this is really what this book is all about. And it's a biblical book, it's a Christian book. So it really talks about what does the Bible say about setting boundaries in your life, healthy boundaries for yourself, um, even setting boundaries like on yourself, like within your own personality and struggles, you know, boundaries on your own personal self, but also with other people in your life, in your work environment, with your friends, even in your marriage. It talks about your kids too. So it's a really good book. I've really been loving it. I feel like I'm underlining like every other word. I'm not totally done with it yet, but I'm pretty close to the end. It's awesome. Love it. Highly recommend it. Alright guys, so that wraps up my March favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving in March. I always enjoy hearing your favorites too. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!